May marks National Electrical Safety Month. Coincidentally, today is the 18th anniversary of Floyd County resident Joey Collins' tragic accident that claimed the life of his co-worker and almost claimed his life as well. On this day 18 years ago, Collins went through the motions of his everyday routine while working for a local sign company. He says everything he knows about the accident comes from a witness. The hydraulics on the truck somehow had collapsed and let us down into an overhead power line. And when it did that, the power came through the truck and uh, came through Stacy first. He fell, according to a witness that saw a, a flash of fire between me and Stacy. Said when they saw that, they saw Stacy fall from the ladder to the ground straight down and that I went flying backwards and landed on my back. Collins explains that his life is a miracle. They didn't expect me to even make it that day, but um, it's just one of those things you don't, you know, you can't explain. But they ran all these tests. They wasn't sure what all had happened to me internally. And they came back that, you know, my back was broke in five places. My pelvis was broke in three places. I had holes blown in my right wrist, one in my left leg and ankle. My arm had to be amputated. Uh, all of my internal organs was burnt, second, third degree burns. My liver was bleeding, my kidneys were failing, my lungs were failing. I was on life support for 17 days. According to EHSToday.com, 28,000 workers have died due to electrocution. Bob Shirtliff with Kentucky Power says everyone needs to be aware of their surroundings, no matter their job. Electricity is dangerous. It, it, most people think that it takes the path of least resistance. It takes all paths to ground. So people have got to be aware that there's overhead power lines, there's underground power lines. Sheriff adds, for more safety information, log on to KentuckyPower.com. Colin says throughout his life, he never lost hope. In the face of tragedy, never give up. You know, your, your best days are still ahead, and uh, you may lose both legs and both arms. You can still have a future. For EKB Evening News at 6, I'm Shelby Steele.